Good morning. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what's on my list of things as we're preparing for a cold hike, a cold hike today. And the best part about winter hikes is you don't have to shower or get your hair pretty in the morning because you start with a hat, hello, and no makeup. So excuse that look, but that's the way it's gonna be today. Okay, it's time to get going in the winter hiking. So you're gonna see there's extra gear here because you want to make sure when it's cold outside, you have extra gear for warmth, but also if you get stuck, you wanna make sure that you're okay for a few hours. So first we're gonna start with what we're wearing and that is multiple layers. You've got pants. I always have an extra layer of pants and I have a base layer that hugs the skin like a tank top and multiple long sleeve shirts after that. So that way you can take them on and off. And uh, again, I always bring two extra shirts. I also have two pair of socks. They're, these are neoprene and really warm hiking socks. So if one gets wet, you can switch them out. And then I also have neck gaiters. Again, multiple layers of neck gaiters because they might get wet either on the outside from rain or snow or on the inside from you breathing and you can switch them around and it's much better. I also always have my snowboard ski jacket with me and this is my mountain hardware gear because again, it's light. Even though it's bulky, it's light. And if you get stuck or you're not moving, you're gonna need something that's keep, going to keep you warm. Okay, so now getting over to the pack that's gonna carry it all. You're gonna need something a little bulkier than your normal hiking gear. This is my Osprey 36 liter pack. And you want to make sure that you have the rain cover or snow cover, because if it starts to rain, it's a lot easier to have your gear warm and dry. And then you get in some of the basics that you should always have anyways. Your first aid kit, your headlamp. This is mine from Black Diamond my Garmin GPS, my Sun 2 compass, and my uh, charger and cable. <laughs> Don't take one without the other, it doesn't work as well. But your phone will get cold, so make sure it's in an interior pocket and somewhere you can take pictures. Let's talk feet. So you definitely need your waterproof hiking boots. These are my Solomons, which I swear by, I love them. And then in the winter, if it's a little too cold for the Solomons, I'll go with these uh, Columbia. Both are waterproof and again, fantastic. And I use them in connection with uh, Lake Gators. These are Outdoor Research and iDand. Uh, they are designed to cover the part from your pant to your boot so no snow gets in there and gets wet, which is honestly just huge. So I rely on my gaiters. You never know when you're gonna step in a little deeper snow. These are my Micro Spikes Ketula. So if you don't need your, um, if you don't need your snowshoes, the Ketulas are awesome spikes that grab onto icy or snowy surfaces. My hiking poles, I don't go anywhere without these Black Diamond Babies. I trail run with them. I use them in the snow, I use them in the summer because as a 50 something year old, it's so much easier balance wise to have your poles with you. And again, they're very light so they can be added to the pack if you don't need them. Then I also bring my snowshoes, yay, with a bungee cord on the outside so they can be easily added or taken off. And I always have a shovel in my car during the winter for you never know if you either you or somebody else is getting stuck. Okay, let's talk hydration and fuel because it's harder to do when it's cold outside. You don't wanna take off your face mask or covering, but you have to. You have to keep drinking and you have to keep eating. And I like the Hydro Flask and Yeti because they keep the beverages hot for like eight hours, maybe longer, I'm probably underselling it, but I always then have hot chocolate, hot tea or hot coffee so that as I'm drinking it, it's not only warming me, but it's also fueling me and hydrating me. On the eating side, I go for things I know are still gonna be soft or easy to get down if it's cold outside. I love some granola bars and a lot of those get too hard when it's cold outside and nothing's worse than crunching your teeth on something that's like a rock hard out in the, in the cold. So I like Gerber baby food, I like Noka superfood smoothie and then this is also gluten-free honey stinger waffle I like. Don't forget to protect your eyes and face with sunscreen because it's still sunny out there. And then also using, making sure you've got your eye protection, whether it's Oakley sunglasses here or my um, snowboard goggles. And then you get into hands and feet warmers. Again, very light addition to the bag and really good if you or somebody else needs a little extra heat, can be added anywhere. And then I get into hats and my gloves. Now, I always have multiple hats because you never know when one gets too wet. I also have different layers of gloves. And yes, it takes time to get all this, but here are the lighter ones that are a little bit more easy to, you know, take your phone in and out or eat something with. 
And then when it's gold, these are my Mac Daddies. <laughs> I always say I could like bake bread in these things because they are just super warm. So there you have it. It's quite a bit of stuff, but let me tell you, you want to make sure you are prepared just in case. I know it seems like quite a bit of gear and a lot of this you can rent if you don't own, but I will tell you that hiking in winter amongst the like snow globe scenes are just incredible and not to be missed. <laughs>